Okay, so we're going to take a look at, it's question seven for you. Um, so ignore the fact that it's question 13 here. The question is, according to passage two, why is corn ethanol unacceptable as a solution to today's energy problems? So you'd start by using your highlighting tool to mark up the question. So you definitely would want to highlight passage two so that you go to the correct passage. Um, and then, you know, why ethanol unacceptable solution? Um, so we've got a number of choices to look at, obviously. The content standard is cite the textual evidence that most strongly supports an analysis of what the text says explicitly, as well as inferences drawn from the text. This is one of those questions where you absolutely are going to have to go back to the text and check your answers. So I looked at the section that gives the reasons that um, ethanol is unacceptable as a solution titled Unfriendly Ethanol, and I noticed there were three different reasons. So I made notes, and remember, on the test, you have a post-it note option. So I would suggest the same thing. You can also highlight, but putting them in my own words really helped me. So this first one explains how it uses fossil fuel to produce ethanol. This one explains that it uses fertilizer that's made in part with fossil fuels. And this one makes mention of the fact that we have a thousand uses for corn and corn byproducts, but we're using 20% of it for ethanol. So when I look at those three reasons, that helps me process. So I should instantly eliminate, eliminate it costs the government too much money because uh, I have no evidence for that. I can go back again and try to find tech support and I won't find it. You know, I've already summarized the three main problems. So we have this, it demands a guaranteed supply of corn every year. That's not supported by the text. That's not really a problem that was given. We're really down to these two. It requires too many resources for its production and it discourages farmers from growing crops for food. Both of these are viable. But C um, makes some assumptions that we can't make. When it says that there are over a thousand uses for corn and corn byproducts, there's no indication of how much of that is related to food. And when we look at B, it requires too many resources for its production. That covers both the crop usage and the fossil fuel usage. So B um, really does capture the true problems given in the passage for the use of corn ethanol as a solution for today's energy problems. So you should have selected B as the correct answer.